for the game. I have, have to, I have to interrupt have you. I'm so sorry. So, um, guys, we will uh, explain the Swiss format a bit more after this game. There will be 15 minute breaks uh, in between. But we have Volgriff versus Savis on the other side. Oh, man. Savitz, the winner of the previous tournament, he was uh, the only non-French player that played in the Gamers Origin Cup 1, and he actually won it. They had 200 people, he was one of them, and he conquered France at that moment. But right now, uh, I think like every French player here wants to win versus Savitz. Oh yeah, he's definitely the guy to beat, right? I mean, he's the most recent tournament winner, which means he's like, well, arguably the one of the top Hearthstone players right now. And he decides to actually leave a shaman against the hunter. And remember, guys, in the um in the Swiss round, you actually have no bands at all, and you bring three decks. So you actually have to keep in mind that oh, you need a hunter counter, you need a zoo counter, and stuff like that. I think uh, Savitz is obviously playing shaman. Uh, he also has a warrior in his lineup, and uh, and I forgot which is the third deck. But basically, uh, a lot of players said that shaman is actually pretty good versus hunter right now. You have a lot of good counters. Yeah, and I wonder if um, Savitz is actually using his lava burst deck because right now we don't see any cards that's out of the ordinary. Right? We saw that did really really well in the. Um, in the tournament, which is uh, C score. Yeah, it seems like a standard deck. I mean, uh, it's 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 good to swap the decks. Like, if a lot of players recognize your deck from the previous tournament, it's good to, to bring something else to surprise them. But you know, on the other hand, if you tested uh, your old deck many many uh, times and you played a lot of games, mm -hmm. it's maybe also good to bring the same thing just to feel confident in what you're playing. Mm -hmm. And and one of the things is that. Uh, Sometimes, even if you know your opponent's deck, uh, you still need to like have decks to counter it, and you still need to play correctly, right? I mean, if if people know that I have Zoo, but uh, they still have to like you know, uh, have the correct responses, and they just can't take really high cards. Like Warriors right now are going super greedy with like Faceless BGH and Ezera, so you definitely have to keep that in mind. By the way, uh, what are you seeing? I I've just seen Feral Spirits. Oh, I yeah, I just see. For, oh yeah, animal companion is coming up right now on my screen. Is it? Synced? Yeah, the animal companion draw. So we are pretty much synced. Maybe okay, like, perfect. Uh, All right. It's good. So yeah, Fogriff here. He got a Leoc. I don't think that's the one he necessarily wants, but um, well, it it is for health. It will take a little bit more to kill it. Uh, the trap is so yeah. So Vish knows it's not a snake trap now uh, after testing it. And he also knows he's not a freezing, so it's pretty much an explosive, unless he runs misdirection or snipe, which is uh, fairly uncommon. So it's not a counter to explosive trap, it's just uh, kill your minions before they are killed, so get as much value as possible. Uh, who do you think has an edge in this, uh, this matchup right now with the hands that we are seeing? Uh, I feel like that um, Fulgriff actually might be a bit better off, especially with the bow. The bow gives uh, a lot of um, a lot of tempo, and also we see a high rate on six with no response from Savis just yet. So it's looking pretty for, good for Fogriff right now. Don't you think he is kind of slow? I mean, so if if this is the the burst deck Savis was playing, but uh -huh. I, I'm actually not sure if he was playing lightning bolts before. Uh, but if this is the burst deck. Then uh, the fact that Volgriff is not doing that much damage, he's mostly fighting for the board, might be pretty good for Savitz. It might and it's also be, really yeah. important. It's also important if Volgriff is playing uh, Unleash the Hounds, because Unleash the Hounds versus Hunter is pretty good, and uh, a lot of Hunter decks actually did cut Unleash the Hounds and are not playing them anymore. Oh, that's interesting. Do you have the deck list? I unfortunately I don't have the deck list. Uh, we'll probably have the deck list for the future rounds, but for now we just need to focus, you know, on just uh, setting things up, and uh, we'll be progressing, guys. Production, sudden production value of every round, I believe. Oh man, we've All seen right. that before. So Fulgur's turn right now. Uh, he can't really kill command the fire elemental. Or he can if he sacrifices both his spiders, but that doesn't seem like good. Uh, so you just like, like I would just wha um, smack the Savannah High Maid out there. Yeah, just slam it. Uh, like. Kill command might be an option if uh, you have a beast on board, but yeah, without the beast, it doesn't. Does he know that spiders are not beasts? 
Oh, he does. Okay, he oh. does it immediately. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is a Swiss tournament with a lot of open players, so it actually might happen that players will be surprised. Mm. Whoa! And, uh, he kept the can... flare. Whoa. That's really interesting. Do you think he's keeping it for the shade of Nasramus or something? Maybe he wants to carve out under seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you say? what do you say about that? Uh, I'm not oh. really sure uh, how to respond to that, to be honest. That was iron logic. By the way, the Earthshock uh, top deck was pretty good. Uh -huh. draw. Wow, double flare. So now he doesn't curve out. Well, it's not that bad. I mean, he was able to deal with the uh, Fire Elemental pretty easily, and now he's playing uh, Savannah Hyman literally on the empty board. So if there is no hack... Whoa! <laughs> he kept the flare again! Okay. Well... What? Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe, maybe he misread his opponent. Maybe he thinks he's a mage or something. Like, what is happening? He's giving us the troll face too. Did you do you see his cam? <laughs> yeah, I see the troll yeah, face. Yeah, <laughs> I see the troll face. He's like, I don't need, need to cycle flares to win this. <laughs> it's like, oh. oh my god. Uh, he might be faking uh kill command as well, but he already used one. So then. Yeah, but this reminds me. This really reminds me, Amaz, that uh, this is a Swiss tournament, which means <laughs> it will have a lot of plays like that. Well, okay. this is not Ties of Time versus you know. Uh, versus you or, okay. or Colento. So we will have a lot of funny plays. Okay. Well, no, no, sometimes you want to try and make sense of the plays. Like, you, you know, like, what are they thinking, you know? So, he might be thinking that uh, he doesn't need more cards right now. I don't know. It's like, it's really weird. Why to keep the flare? Mm -hmm. Maybe he thinks there is something in a shaman deck that he can actually use the flare against. Well, it's, you know, not all the players know all the cards. Hmm, okay. Oh, okay. or maybe he's writing something like, you know, Questing Adventure or Violet Teacher, you know. And maybe, you know, maybe he faced Jungle Thor and Tiger so many times in in the Shaman deck mm, okay. that he's just keeping those players against the Jungle Thor and ti Tigers. Yeah, that makes sense. But he's so happy, like, I have two flares, like, no, no Jungle Thor no. Tiger is going to... To attack yeah. like. And then, you know, screw the hero part, okay? We have the high main rule. Like, as long as you attack the face of the high main, you win. You don't need yeah, stupid, so silly hero, hero powers, you know? He's a steady shot. Uh, like, he wants to prolong the game. He is playing versus Savic. Yeah, and, I mean, Savic looks so stressed out right now. I think I think Volgriff is just winning. Savic is testing the trap. Yeah, he, yeah he's, he's just super confused right now, so... I would be too if I was him. Okay. It's fun. I mean, it's Carson is all about fun. So oh, I'm, I'm sure like Vulgriff, Vulgriff is also uh, a bit like um, sad about this, the, the thing that he has to face Savit round one instead of yeah. like another uh, player that's playing here. Yeah, but he looks pretty happy. Maybe he's like happy because you know he's he was so unlucky to draw the flares and now he can't even cast them because they're on <laughs> top <laughs> minion support. All right, so I guess he has the mad scientist and pass. Oh, oh no, he did the hero part, guys. Okay, okay. I mean, if you kept the flares early on, it doesn't make sense to use it now if there's no value, right? I mean, you're not even using the effect, so makes sense. Um, is he dead? How much damage is this? This is a lot of damage. This is a l oh, there's a spell power on the board, right? Yeah, I think this is... Seven Wait, plus did five? he attack with Fire Elemental already? Yeah, he did. Oh yeah, this yeah. is it, this is it. This is it, wow. That damage! Oh, he is not one damage off of lethal! And so we'll never know. the first game. We'll never know what could he actually draw with the flares. Oh. He kept them till the end. Yeah, he did. All right. Well, that was an eye opener, uh, guys. Welcome to the Swiss tournament, where um, I didn't expect that. Yeah, so maybe I can explain the Swiss now. So basically, mm -hmm. the Swiss thing is like everybody can play, everybody can sign up, everybody can have fun and play versus the pro players. And a lot of players here uh, remember Gypsy from like Dreamhack Bookers. Oh like, yeah. A lot of players, they, they just want to have fun. Like they they heard, hey, there's this Carson tournament. Where you can just pay like a small fee and, and play versus like 
other 500 people. So a lot of people, like, they don't have all the cards. They don't know all the cards. They are new to the game. They don't know the standard mechanics. And uh, they just want to have fun. And, uh, like, some families are actually here playing and enjoying the game. So don't be <laughs> surprised, guys. Yeah, um, okay. I'm sure, like, on day two, we'll have high-quality games. Still, the mistakes will be made. Like, everybody makes mistakes on the, on the high-stake tournaments. But uh, right now, we, we will have some weird, questionable plays, for sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, Volgriff looks like he was having fun, so that's always good. Right? Yeah, that's the, mo the most important thing. Mm -hmm. He was really sad about having those two flares and not, not, be, not being able to cast them. Yeah. And actually, I see that there is a visual change in the, um, in the layout, and it looks like it's a best of three instead for the Swiss round now. Can you confirm that, Nimsh? Oh, yeah, I can confirm that the Swiss round is best of three, in fact. Oh, so okay. we will have... Nine be best of three matches, no bans, um, and you know after the nine rounds, and we also see that this is round one. I, I by the way, I really like the overlay. It's uh, it's pretty clean. Like you can yeah. see everything. Yeah. It's not cluttered, and uh, it's cut really well. So the board is visible. We will e even see a secret, I believe, um, or maybe secret will be cut. We'll see. But uh, but basically, I like it. Well, hopefully we see our opponent's secrets, basically. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Yeah. So Savitz is... If Savitz plays a secret... <laughs> I he, hope... We'll he might get flared, right? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Twilight Trick is... Uh, eh, it's un a bit unfortunate because it's going to get Earthshocked. But usually you do put Twilight Tricks before a Giant. What do you think, Nimsh? I... I would play Giant first, I believe, because uh, in this matchup, you can actually, if you have uh, if you have Giants, if you have other minions, mm -hmm. you can play it in a way so that you exhaust the removal, and um, they use whatever they can to kill your Giants and other stuff, and then you play uh, Twilight Drakes after Airshocks are being used, but it really depends on your build. Like, if you're running such vultures, you might be able to bait the, um, uh, the Airshock earlier, but if you, if you don't, you can also like play it early and try it. So it depends. By the way, this is the turn. How many cards does he have? He has ten cards. Ten yeah, cards. yeah, ten cards. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, seem so I guess like, like giant. Yeah, it's giant, yeah, giant. Uh, Sun Fury, something like that. But you know, on the other hand, like Savitz has everything he needs in this matchup. Like he had the, the air shock, and now he has a lot of totems and flame tongue totem, which is pretty great. Uh, you can just use those zero two totems to be able to kill the giant easily. Yeah, and the crazy part about Double Doom Hammer is that, you know, not only do you get to draw them really early, which is a good thing, I guess, with the burst deck, you also get a second one if the first one gets oozed or Harrison or something. So, um, yeah, people are, were saying the longest time that Doom, two Doom Hammers was really bad, really clunky. But hey, it's the best card in the game. And why would you not put two of the best cards in the game in the same deck? So that I, I think that's, that's how the uh, deck came to be, yeah? That's so weird, by the way, because like one time you were saying a card is bad and you never want to have two in your in your deck, mm -hmm. but then suddenly somebody designs a, a deck where or like the meta game changes a bit, and uh, everybody's running two of them. It's like obvious to run double Doomhammer, and sometimes you're in a, in a situation where you don't want to Harrison Doomhammer because you will overdraw, mm -hmm. so you don't want to draw that, that many cards. So I like like in Hearthstone everything shifts and it's um, the decks are are different and even if you change a couple of cards, uh, still the, how you play the deck it changes and uh, you know it's it's really like versatile. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now I don't see it, it's gonna be very hard for Vogriff to win here because what he doesn't know that is uh, Savish is actually holding like eighteen, oh no no sixteen. Uh, burst damage in one turn and then if when he equips the doom hammer that's already like four damage to the face as well so that's actually a lot of damage for savisha's hand it's not lethal mm -hmm. yet but uh it's really close it's pretty close uh, oh wait man. it's lethal it oh. is it lethal now it's like how much was it six eight eight sixteen Yes, use the more core. Yes, good job. Okay. Oh, it's 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 lethal now. It's lethal now, really. Doom hammer plus double rock better is yeah. It's only it's only sixteen, right? 
Yeah. And oh, he no, tapped. Oh, okay. Points of life. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just a bit behind you there. All right. Oh yeah. Sorry. Excusez yeah, moi. Excusez moi. I'm the nymph from the future. I the see the place the where they happen. Wow. Oh wow. So it's like it, it's a quick to. Oh, I guess. And um. I guess the vision's so, pretty happy. I believe I should go and interview both of the guys. Yeah. Okay. You need to go. You go do that. Yeah. Okay. So, are we going? <laughs> because maybe the two of them. Okay. So, guys, I, I have like, uh, <clears throat> I have a production boys with me here, and uh, basically, we might actually get the guys. Uh, 